there are questions in the chat, uh, but uh, thank you for joining us and presenting. Thank and you for the opportunity to make my presentation. Uh, for sure, we would like to learn more about uh, the status of, uh, of agriculture in Europe. I would like to, uh, for sure. Um, but uh, for now, we have to, to move on to the next speaker. So I hope you have a good Phosphor G and uh, um, see you uh, in another session. Uh, so as we proceed uh, with our next presentation, we have um, Mario uh, Vargas Chacarim um, that will probably join us. He is currently in uh, the Amazon forest and he is going to try to uh, contact us with a limited um, reception. So we're waiting for, for him to see if he can contact us. In the meantime, um, I would like everybody to know that this presentation will be delivered by Mario in Spanish. So um, if you have any uh, problems to understanding Spanish, we, uh, we can try to um, deliver a translation. Um, we'll try to mediate this translation. However, um, none of us is a very good Spanish speaker. So we're going to try our best to, to do this as um, seamless as possible. Uh, so far, Mario is not here, but we can uh, actually um, uh, try to broadcast his slides. He sent us some slides. Um, POC, if you can uh, share them, please. Um, the um, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to try to share his slides and we're going to try to uh, make sense of them for you and uh, if Mario can uh, can come back and uh, to us and can actually log into the platform uh, and uh, intervene uh, he will let you know more details about the project yeah. So um, let's quickly go over um, Mario's bio. Mario Vargas Shakim. Mario Vargas is an indigenous Shoah from the Ecuadorian Amazon who has been defending nature since he was a young boy. He has been the leader and technician of the Shoah Federation of Pastaza, supporting the formulation of a community broadcaster that disseminates information on the rights of the people. So that's the biography. Um, I will try to, to present on behalf of Mario until he manages to log in. Um, so the presentation um, covers the um, uh, different um, ways in which uh, the community, the indigenous community uh, in the uh, village of Shuar um, uh, can monitor uh, changes related to climate change. Um, that is because indigenous communities in the Amazon forest are experiencing many of these changes, uh, which are in direct relation with climate change. Um, mostly very strong rains are uh, causing the rivers to overflow. Uh, they affect food security of the communities who live uh, nearby these rivers. Um, they are also experiencing uh, problems related to winds, uh, and during the summer period, uh, this um, this problem becomes uh, even uh, more uh, poignant. Uh, also, uh, they have a problem with um, sun, uh, the strong um, influence of the sun that is causing um, a very severe drought. Um, and uh, that leads to communities being affected by um, the um, uh, loss of water and uh, some of these communities are actually left without water. Uh, on the other hand, there are also periods uh, when winters are very cold and this causes for elderly and children to get um, health issues. Um, and indigenous uh, knowledge today and uh, isn't uh, it was in the past for uh, millennia uh, it is crucial for adapting to these changes and curing and preventing these health issues 
uh, associated with uh, the difficulties experienced uh, from the climate changes. Uh, in this talk, Mario intends to talk about um, uh, how the indigenous shore community in the Ecuadorian Amazon is using drones uh, and combining this information coming from drones with their indigenous knowledge and the challenges they are facing to adapt uh, to these changes. Uh, if you can go a little bit back to some, some of these slides. Uh, back, back. Uh, to the first, okay. So, um, Mario uh, has uh, intended to present the project of TOA, uh, how uh, they monitor uh, in the Ecuadorian Amazon uh, the um, uh, Pueblo of Shuar, uh, which translates as the village of Shuar. Uh, he's uh, the technical coordinator for uh, the, pro uh, the project of Hivos TOA. And uh, he's also, uh, which is coordinated by the organizations, uh, the indigenous organizations in the Cuenca Amazonica. Can we go to the next slide? So as, uh, as I uh, tried to <laughs> introduce, uh, they are using uh, drone technologies uh, for monitoring the territory of uh, the shore tribes and uh, they are trying to implement an integrated system uh, with technological equipment so they collect data through uh, drone surveys and they will process it um, uh, afterwards um, and integrate it with um, gps signals uh, for uh, validating this data and produce maps of the territory of the shore, um, shore village Can we go to the next slide? Uh, this has, uh, this uh, entire uh, project is being done at local level um, and it's teaching indig indigenous uh, communities on how to uh, collect data by drone and um, interpret it in a, uh, in a GIS program, how to make uh, use of this data and how to uh, integrate it with other sources of data that they collect locally. Um, such as GPS data, as I mentioned, but other types of uh, data as well. Uh, how they can um, embed this knowledge into the local community, how can they can create capacity in, within the local community, and how they can uh, monitor their territory for better responses to uh, climate change changes. Um, Unfortunately, I cannot give you a lot of context on how uh, the knowledge is being uh, translated into the indigenous community, but the whole purpose of this uh, project is to uh, once uh, help mitigate the effects of climate change over the shore tribes. Um, uh, another objective is to offer a capacity um, building to the local, um, local community to um, improve uh, their livelihood um, at, in that area um, and also uh, to um, help uh, the community uh, uh, get um, get advancing uh, into into this uh, in and uh, use their past uh, in, uh, past indigenous knowledge uh, in conjunction with uh, technology uh, to to create meaningful impact in the community. Um, Mario sends also gracias, uh, which um, means that uh, uh, he thanks us. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> exactly the um, the thank you, but uh, um, I would presume that it's maketai. <laughs> Um, and uh, hopes that uh, this presentation, as it's being delivered, unfortunately he has not been here with us, um, can spark a debate. And we're looking actually uh, to spark this debate in our chat and uh, question section. Um, so if you have any questions for this, we will try to uh, deliver them to Mario uh, in, a, uh, in a way that uh, he can um, probably contact you afterwards and um, um, you can have a different discussion with him. So if you have questions, please put them in the chat.
Uh, I can't see any questions right now, but I'm sure that if you have any queries, uh, we have uh, people from GEO, from the group of Earth observations um, that can link you to Mario and tell you a little bit more about uh, his work. Um, his work has been very valuable. Um, we, we briefly met through the indigenous hackathons, uh, which are actually currently running um, uh, on the Phosphor-G platform. So please um, make sure that you also check that. It's full of interesting presentation and full of interesting initiatives that help the indigenous community uh, make use of the Earth observation uh, technologies for improving uh, their, uh, their communities uh, lives and also their communities work um and perspectives um so we are really encouraging everybody that wants to get involved in that to, to contact geo and uh to make uh make a contribution uh in terms of um, uh, volunteering uh, aside uh, the indigenous communities um thank you so much for uh for being uh here for our session and uh we will try to pass all the eventual questions to mario and geo um, and we hope that all the presentations that we had uh, are, were uh, interesting for, for you. You had uh, learned quite a few things from this session and uh, hopefully you have a nice Fast 4G. Um, don't forget that we also have the uh, annual meeting uh, coming um, shortly after, uh, after the conclusions of the sessions today. Uh, do check that and uh, also stay uh, stay uh, with us for G um, not only for today but also for tomorrow where there will be a code sprint and uh, other events as well. So thank you so much uh, and see you in the Phosphor G platform. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, um, Christina. Um, thank you to our speakers that have spoken and to our audiences. Thank you very much. So we've actually come to the end of today's session and hopefully see you again.